With that, I want to introduce our next speaker. It's the speaker, it's Stephen Clems from the Zion Evangelical Lutheran Church. Thank you for coming, Stephen. Yeah! Bring you greetings with a national organization in the Lutheran community, Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Services, that stands with you in advocating that rather than a patchwork of state laws, that we advocate for comprehensive, fair, and humane immigration reform on the federal level. Yes! I'm here to speak to remind you, though it appears that some have forgotten, that there is not a wall between the Lord God and people who are created in God's own image. Yeah! It depends not upon status of documentation, but all people do not have a wall that separates them from the love of God. Not only from this Lutheran community, but from all faith communities that I know, a basic tenet of our belief is attending the stranger and attending to the one who is on the outside. Even from Hebrew scriptures, we hear, when an alien resides with you in your land, you shall not oppress the alien. The alien resides with you and shall be to you as a citizen among you. You shall love the alien as yourself, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Jesus always goes to the other side. There are no walls nor borders that separate him from the love of human beings. Walls separate, walls imprison, and walls keep people out, but Jesus breaks down the walls. He was asked a question, who is my neighbor? Which caused him to tell a story about a Samaritan, that there was two people who because they were law-abiding or for whatever reason thinking that they were in the right they passed by and did not look at the one who is in need of mercy who is my neighbor it is the one who does mercy jesus breaks down the walls that separate and it's not only the walls that are built that are so ugly and offensive like the one the government has built between the united states and mexico but it is a wall as hideous and offensive that is built in the mind and in the heart, where time after time it is a wall that's built with suspicion and a wall that's built with fear and a wall that is built with racism. And when that wall exists in your life, you cannot see another person who is neighbor. I'm here to tell you that a wall, a wall is being built up there on the hill. And they may call it enforcement or a, a, a wall that's enforcement only. And it's the law, they would say, but it's still offensive and it's still ugly. Tell me in an enforcement only bill, what in that bill builds community? We need to build justice and not walls. We need to build a place where students are not left out of because of in-state tuition waivers. We need to build justice and not walls, and we need to stand and resist every effort that would characterize us and that would dehumanize us. Yeah. We're not invaders. And what human being is illegal? We need to build justice and not walls. We need to build justice where the place of family is respected and valued. We need to build justice and not walls, and we need to seek creative and compassionate ways to build a fair and humane, comprehensive immigration reform on the federal level. We need to build justice and not walls. And we do it one step at a time. We do it one prayer at a time. If I can try and do it by my own language and learning a new language, we all need to learn the new language that speaks truth to power. Yeah! Q 
quita la arrogancia y el odio que infectan nuestros corazones. Derriba los muros que nos separan y unanos en lazos de amor. Take away the arrogance and the hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love. And one step at a time, and one prayer at a time, and one time that we witness speaking truth to power, these walls will start tumbling down because we will build justice and not walls.